Hello children, welcome to Guru Gedara. Today we are back again with another interesting English lesson. Miss Nirmala is going to do the lesson today. Hello Miss Nirmala. Hello Maheshi. Hope you are doing well. Yes, thank right. you. So what are we going to do today? Yes, my dear students, I am happy to meet you once again with a very interesting lesson. This is going to be interesting because we are going to talk about words, how to form new words. So this is going to be really interesting. Let us see what I am going to do today. Collective nouns, right. This is what we are going to discuss today. Now you know what nouns are. We use nouns to describe things and people. Now you can see there are some nouns, people, grapes, ants, players, stones. Now if you are going to use them in collective nouns, how are we going to call them as a collection? Let us see. A group of people, a bunch of grapes, a team of players, an army of ants, a pile of stones. So the nouns have been added with more words and we call them collective nouns. It's a collection, a bunch of grapes. You can see the bunch there. And people, a group, they are together. Players, a team of players. So there are many people there. And look at the ants, army of ants. Many ants, they are working like army. And a pile of stones, a collection of stones there. Right. So let us see how we can form those collective nouns. We can use different words to describe the collections. Look at the first one, bunch. Usually a group of small objects such as grapes, flowers, keys or banana. Now you can see the green, the green color banana, it's a bunch. What about the yellow one Maheshi? I think it's a comb of banana. Yes, it's a shape of a comb. So yes. see the difference children, yes. a bunch of banana and a comb of banana. And you can call a bunch of grapes, bunch of flowers, bunch of keys. See you can see the keys there. Right. And the next one a pile. A pile is an untidy collection of items, especially the rubbish, we call a pile of garbage. And the next one heap, heap also a mounded collection of items and uh, we use that with a uh, pile of garbage as well, it goes with the pile as well. You can see a heap of garbage, a pile of garbage in this picture. Yes, now we have some more words there. Yes, so set. Right. So, wh where do we use the word set as a collective noun, right? Yes. A tidy group of matched objects, that means the same objects like uh, dishes, also used to describe rules or a social group of people. Yes. Yes. Now, earlier we said it un uh, like disorganized pile, yes. but here it is a set, is a tidy group of yes. matched objects. Uh, or dishes. Now you can see a uh, pile of books there and yes. then uh, you can see set of books, a yes. set of dishes. Yes, you can yeah. see set of books yeah. and you can see, uh, you can say set of people, yes. uh, social group of people also we can say set. Okay, yes. the next one a stack. Stack yes. is a group of items neatly laid one on top of another. You can see the books there, they are neatly laid, not disarranged there. The yes. next one, series. Of course, you might have seen series of books, series of movies. You watch some series of uh, movies, children, and you read series of books. So, these are collective nouns. Herd. Yes. Yes. A group of herbivorous animals. Miss Nirmala, who are herbivorous animals? Yes. The animals live on plants, they eat plants, grass. Um, yes. So here you can see some example. And can we use a herd of elephants? Of course, they are vegetarians, yes. they eat plants. Yes. Yes, and a pack, 
A pack is a group of canine animals such as wolves or dogs. They have sharp teeth children and of course we can use pack for cards also, pack of cards and uh, packages containing multiple objects also, a pack. The next one, a flock. Yes, flock, a group of birds, we use this flock of birds. Yes. And at the same time, we use this collective noun to talk about small hooved animals. Who are these small hooved animals? Yes, now you can see the animals with their uh, horny uh, feet. Yes. Right? They, can, they make the sound when they walk. Yes. All right? So, flock of sheep, flock of goats. Right. So, you learned three more words. Herd, pack, flock. That can be used as a collection. Let us move on to another one. Swarm. Yes. yes. When are we using swarm? Yes. Uh, swarm is used with a group of insects, especially yes. swarm, of, sw swarm of bees. Of course, yes. you can see the picture, a swarm of insects, they are small, a swarm of uh, bees, right? They, they are staying all the time as a collection. The next one, shawl. Yes. We use shawl to describe a group of fish, shawl of fish. Yes. And we use school of fish as well. Of course. Yes. Right. The next one, troop. Yes. A group of actors or acrobats. Yes. You can say troop of actors, troop of dancers, yes. and troop of acrobats. The ones who are performing there, you can see the picture there. And um, there is another collective noun with the yes. same uh, word. Same, of course. The pronunciation is same, but the spelling is different. Yes. Can you think of that word? Yes, I was about to ask you about it actually. So, I have heard another word, but I think the spelling is different. Yes, I that is yes. T-R-O-O-P. I T -R -O -O think that is what you are going to refer. Yes, that's what I am referring to. So, what is the difference between that troop and this troop? Yes, of course, we use T-R-O-O-P for troop of monkeys. Yes. And of course, for soldiers, troop of soldiers, we use the other spelling. So, remember the difference T-R-O-U-P and T-R-O-O-P. Both are collective nouns. Yes. So we have learned swarm, shawl, and troop. Yes, we have some more words, children. Now, this time we describe people using these words group, crowd, gang, mob. Let us see the differences in these words. Yes. So, a group, this is a very general term. We normally use this generally. Uh, to describe people, places or things, right? So, group. Group of people, yes. group of places, group of islands, yes. right? Lot, we can use group of words with many things, animals, people, places. Yes. It's a very commonly used collective noun. The next one, crowd. Yes. Crowd is more, more often used with people actually. Yes. Mostly crowd. we use yes. for people, group of people, crowd yeah. of people. Yes. Right. The next one, gang. Gang. Does it sound something negative? Yes. Normally, uh, it's not positive actually. Yes. Gang is gang. something like group of criminals yes. uh, or like a group of workers, sailors. Yes. Uh, of course, they are not bad. But yes. uh, for criminals, of course, we use the gang, the gang. gang of thieves, yes. gang of criminals. Yes. Right. But we can use the same term for a uh, group of workers particularly sailors or dock workers as well. Yes. And the mob, mob yes. that is unruly people, mm. right? You have seen on uh, news also, there are yes. mob of people shouting, protesting. So Stabbing call, people. <laughs> yes. yes. So normally we use mob to describe an angry or unruly group of people. Mm. And of course, we use this for Kangaroos as well. Yes. Mob of kangaroos. Right. So, what are the new words you learned, children? Yes. Group, crowd, gang, and mob. Hope you can remember all these, what we have discussed so far. Yes. Now, these are very familiar. A choir and an orchestra. Yes. What is a choir? A choir. It is a large organized group of singers. Of right? course, you have yes. choirs in your school. Yes. School choirs are there. They sing 
uh, in special moments and they go for competitions. Right, so choir is a large organized group of singers. Yes. The next one, orchestra. Orchestra. It, is a, it also is an organized group and they are the players, the instrumentalists uh, with a leader. Yes. So you have seen orchestra, the musical groups, they play instruments and they have a, a conductor to conduct them. Yes. So two new words, choir and orchestra. Choir of singers, orchestra of uh, people, orchestra of players. We call actually orchestra, then this, the single word gives you an idea yes. that uh, it is the collection there. The next one, panel and board. Yes. A panel, I think you have heard this word, panel of experts. Yes, panel of panel judges. Panel of judges, yeah. right. So they are seated together, they are a group of experts to yes. give or praise somebody. Now panel of judges, they judge as a team, as a group. And this word has a sense of formality, I think. Yes, very yeah. formal, yes. Then the next one, the board. Yes, a group of people, or actually they are usually professionals, who take decisions together, right. especially in companies, in institutions, we find board of directors, yes. board of chairmen. They take like decisions. That. They, they right. take decisions. So they have an advisory role there. Yes. You can see the pictures also. A panel, also group of people seated together. In the board also, you can see one person conducting and there are other people around the table. Right. So panel and board for group of people. Right. Staff, I think you have heard this word very often. Yes, staff. So that is a group of people who work in the same place, working together in the same place. So we can use the word staff as a collective noun. Yes. The next one, crew. Usually we describe group of workers, especially the ones who work in aircraft or ship. You can see a crew of an aircraft there in the picture and yes. crew of a ship also we call crew. So staff and crew, two new words. Yes. Right. Now we have learned many words. Hope you can remember. Right. Just recall the words that you can remember. Yes. Herd, group, stack, pile. Okay. Now we are going to use these words in our activities. Now before that, now let us see, let us make sentences using given noun. This is a very simple activity, right. Swarm of bees, flock of sheep, pile of stones, the army. These are the collective nouns. Yes. What are the rest of the sentences? Yes. The tiger attacked, has completed the secret mission, chased me up the street, the car. Can you think of uh, uh, forming a correct sentence using these two parts of sentences, children? Yes, I think they can. Yes. Let us take one by one. Swarm of bees chased me up the street. Yes. Uh, the tiger attacked a flock of sheep. The car hit a pile of stones. The army has completed the secret mission. All right. So you can see you can make sensible sentences by using collective nouns there. There is another activity. Yes. Children, you have to replace some group of words with collective nouns. For example, you have to give the collective noun for the given words. Let us see. There is a large number of people at the bus stop. A large number of people. What is the word we can replace? Yes, we learned that there are certain words that we are using only with people, right? Like the word crowd. So, you can replace this phrase with a crowd of people, right? So, the sentence comes like this, children. There is a crowd of people at the bus stop. Yes. Right? The second one, I took five flowers to my aunt. Yes. Five flowers. Instead of five flowers, what is the collective now you can use? Yes. It is better, better to say, I took a bunch of flowers to my aunt. 
Yes. Let us move on to the next one, children. Nine cows are eating grass in the field. Nine cows. Can you replace them? They yes. Are they are herbivorous animals? Yes. We use a special word. A herd of cows is eating grass in the field. Yes. Instead of nine cows, we have used a herd of cows. The workers on the ship work hard to rescue it. Hope you can remember people who work on a ship or an airplane. Yes. What is the yes. word children? Can I say the answer? Yes. Yes. The crew of sailors worked hard to rescue it. Yes. The workers on a ship are called a crew. A crew yes. of sailors. The people who work there in the office are very honest. The yes. people who work in an office. What is the yes. word? Hope you can remember. It's very simple, right? Yes. Yes. The staff in the office are very honest. All right. So you have replaced the words with a crowd of people, a bunch of flowers, a herd of cows, a crew of sailors and the word staff. Of course, we can use the word separately as well. Yes, Miss Nimara, idea. I think our children can use these uh, words when in their writings as well. Yes. Whenever they are writing essays or pieces of writing, so they can use these collective nouns. Of course. Instead of using a heavy set of words. Yes, that is the use of learning all these words, children. Right. Now, I will help you how to form the plural form in collective nouns. Now, you know that uh, generally we just add S, yes. but there are other ways how to uh, make plurals in collective nouns. So, let us learn that rule as well. Now, here you can see um, the jury has delivered to its conclusion to the judge. Now, here jury we take as one collectively they to get together to give a verdict yes. and here you have the clue it's right so we know definitely it is singular so we have used the verb has delivered there but look at the second sentence the jury have not reached a conclusion because they are arguing among themselves now what has happened to the jury Yes, they are arguing among themselves. Yes. So, so, then they have different opinions. Yes. Then they are not acting like a collection, not like a team they are. Yes. They are having different opinions. Actually, a jury is to give their verdict collectively. So, they have different opinions and later on they have to come to one uh, opinion. So, here the jury, the each member is with a different opinion. And you have this clue, they they are arguing then definitely it should be plural. So, remember in collect collective nouns some collective nouns we can use as singular as well as plural according to the situation. Look at the screen again children. The first one the jury has delivered its conclusion they are together. Second one, the jury have not reached a conclusion because they are arguing among themselves. Look at the clues. They are themselves. Then they act separately. There we have the verb have. Right. Let us take the second one. The herd is grazing in the meadow. So, it is a herd of cows. They are eating uh, grass in the meadow. But in the second, that is singular. So, herd is. But let us look at the second one children. Now, they have seen a wolf. The herd are bolting off in all directions. Now, what has happened to those yes. uh, animals? They, they saw a wolf and they are running here and there. Everyone is running. So, then we use they there. Then yes. it should be plural. Look at the uh, sentence again children. Now, they have seen a wolf, the herd are bolting off in all directions. They are running everywhere separately, yes. not like a team now. So, you see the difference. First one, herd is grazing, they are together, but 
S second one, they are running everywhere. So then we take it as plural. I, th I hope you, uh, you can get, an, get a clear idea uh, what we are talking about. That uh, collective nouns can be used pl in plural form as well as in singular form as well. Right. Now let us uh, do this simple activity so that uh, you will understand better what we were talking yes. about. Here you have to select the correct verbs and fill in the blanks. There are two words, singular and plural. You have to guess, look at the clues also and decide. Shall we read the sentences? Yes, uh, for sure. Yes, yes, of course. The board of directors blank their room for its meetings. The police blank the first on the scene. The jury blank divided in their opinion. The jury blank unanimous in giving the verdict. A cricket team blank of 11 players. Right, so we will give you some time and decide. Take a small piece of paper and write down these sentences. So yes, you can do they that. can get the clues and get an idea whether that is a plural one or a singular one. There are clues children, so if you examine clearly you can find them. The board of directors use or users this room for its meeting. What is the clue there? Yes. The word it's. Yes, then we know we have taken it as a collection. The board of directors uses this room for its meetings. The second one, the police was, were the first on the scene. Now remember children, uh, in English language, the police, it takes the plural form always. So you know it that it should be were. The police were the first on the scene. The third one, the jury was, were divided in their opinion. Ah, they yes. have different opinions. Then their opinion, that is the clue there. What is the answer children? The jury were divided in their opinion. They, there we take jury as separate individuals. The next one, the jury is a uh, unanimous in giving the word, unanimous, they are together, uh, they, everybody is having the same uh, opinion. So then they are, it's a collection, unanimously they are giving the verdict, so then it should be is. And the fifth one, the cricket team, it's a team children, there are 11 players, and what is the word? A cricket team of 11 players. It has 11 players. So then it should be plural. Though there are 11 players, we take them as one team. So it should be singular. Hope you understand now. Let us continue the activity children. The committee is a of the same opinion. What is the correct one? Yes, the committee is of the same opinion because as a unit they are together to get the same idea. So they have the same idea so it is considered as one unit. So we are using the singular word. But let us look at the second one. Yes. It's committee but with hmm. one another. So then hmm. they have different opinions, right? There are different people, then we have to use the plural form disagree. Yes. The eighth one, the furniture in the house is uh, expensive. You know again children, furniture also we use as singular, as a collection. The furniture in the house is expensive. The next one, Robin's family consist, consists of five members. Family has five members. That is why we call it a family. So then, Robin's family consists of five members. The last one. Yes. 
Ravin's family is are enjoying their picnic at the park. There. So the yes. clue is there. The clue is there. So they are individually enjoying doing different activities. That may be the reason that they have used the word there. Yes. So we have to use the plural verb. So Ravin's family are enjoying their picnic at the park. So remember children, you have to look at the context and decide whether it should be singular or plural. Now let us move on to an activity from your workbook. Take your pupils book and this is unit 7 activity 4. There is a role play, a dialogue between two friends Rashmika and Anuradha. Let us listen to their dialogue. Here, I've got a bunch of grapes to share with you. Thanks. You seemed worried. Is anything wrong? You know, it's not always good to be the youngest in a family. Why is that? Because I always get hand-me-downs and what my brother has used. So, what's wrong with that? I don't get anything new. Don't say that, Anuradha. Our parents always try to give us the best. Yes, it's true for my brother, but not for me. I have to use his cricket gear. Remember the pile of storybooks I have? I got them from my brother. Oh, really? But your collection of books is the best among us. But they were passed down to me after my brother used them. Come on, my friend. Don't worry. Even I use my brother's box of mathematical instruments and his old school bag. No, Rashmika. I don't like it. I'm so upset. Hey, be cool. Come, I'll show you an interesting article. All right. Right. So you got an idea what they were talking about. I think that is the uh, same problem in every yes. house with, if you have siblings. It's the very common. <laughs> yes. It's very common. The, yes. uh, the young one, the other ones, the, not the eldest, yes. but the others are complaining. They get the, uh, the used ones from their uh, siblings. Yes. But children, uh, now here in this uh, dialogue, as you can see, his collection of books uh, is the best. So then though they were old, they were as new. So don't complain like that. Um, so you have to share things uh, in a family. Right. Now there you can see they have used different uh, collective nouns. Right. Now let us do this activity. You have to, there are two boxes and you have to form collective nouns using the words, uh, using the given words. Let us read the words children. Yes. Bunch, flock, herd, pack, swarm, team, pile, board and bundle. And Let us see the yes. nouns now. Yes. Directors, bees, sticks, elephants, flowers, newspapers, wolves, players, birds. Yes. Right. See whether you can form collective nouns using these uh, collective words and the nouns. Let us give it a try. Bunch, what should be the word that goes with bunch? Bunch always go with flowers. Yes, bunch of flowers. The next one, flock. Children, can you find the word? Yes. Flock of birds. Herd is always going with herbivorous animals. Yes. So herd of elephants. Yes. Pack. Pack is matching Ra with wolves, I yes. think. Yes. Pack of wolves. Yes. Swarm. You remember the word? Swarm. Swarm, Swarm of? Bees. Yes. Because it's an insect. Team. Yes. Team, uh, we'll see. Ah, there are some players. Players, yes. Team of players. Pile. Yes. Pile of. Newspapers. Yes. Board. Board. There are directors. Yes, Board there are of directors. directors. Bundle. Bundle of sticks. All right. So, bunch of flowers. Flock of birds. Herd of elephants. Pack of wolves. Swarm of bees, team of players, 
board of directors, bundle of sticks. Right. I know that you can do these exercises easily because you are familiar with the words. Right. Now, this is another activity from your uh, workbook children. There, are, there is a list of collective nouns. Let us see those collective nouns. Quite a list. Yes, a lengthy list of course. Yes. A basket of fruit, a bevy of girls, a group of girls, bevy of girls, board of directors, a band of musicians, a bouquet of flowers, a brood of chickens, a bunch of flowers, a bunch of plantains, a chest of drawers, a choir of singers, a clump of trees, a company of actors, collection of stamps, a constellation of stars, a group of stars there, yes. a fleet of ships, group of ships, yes. a flight of steps, a flock of birds, a flock of sheep, a galaxy of stars, a group of islands, a group of men, a gang of thieves, a herd of cattle, a herd of elephants, a swarm of bees, a set of tools, a library of books, a litter of pups, a pride of lions, a pack of wolves, a school of whales, a swarm of bees, a troop of dancers. Right. Yes. Now, uh, you have a chart in your workbook and you have to categorize them under three headings. Yes. People, animals and things. Look at the list and see whether you can uh, identify the collective nouns used on people. Yes, uh, Maheshi, can you uh, yeah. pick at least two, three? Yes, I think I can. A board of directors. Of course, that goes under people. Yeah, a band of musicians. Right, one more. And uh, a choir of singers. Right. So children, hurry up and jot down the collective nouns that go under people. The second one, uh, collective nouns used on animals. Yes. Yes, there are plenty of collective nouns. And let me see, uh, a flock of birds. Right. A flock of sheep. Right. A pride of lions. Of course. Yes. It, we use for a group of lions, a pride of lions. Yes. The next one for things. What mm. are the collective nouns that we can use for group of things? Things, yes. A chest of drawers, mm. I can see. Chest of drawers is a cupboard with a lot of uh, drawers. Yes. A flight yes. of steps. Yes. And there are some more. Okay. I think we will give them pick. the chance. Yeah, of they course. can pick. Yes. Yes. So, Hurry up and fill at least write three for each children. We will wait until you pick three from each and later on you can do the workbook activity. Right, we will make it easy for you. Now this is, uh, this is from your pupils book uh, and the workbook as well. There are two activities almost mm. the same so I have combined both. Uh, unit pupils book it is unit 7 activity 6. In the workbook same, it is unit 7, but it is activity 4. Complete the grade uh, using the g words that we had given you. Of course, you have to, you have to find on your own, yes. but we have helped you by giving a list of words. Right. So, under people, yes, a bevy of girls, group of girls, a board of directors, yes. a band of musicians, a choir of singers, a company of actors, a group of men. For yes. animals, yes, a brood of chickens, a flock of sheep, a flock of birds, a school of whales, a herd of cattle, a herd of elephants. Yes, see we have used herd for cattle and yeah. elephant, both herbivorous animals. Yes. The, then the other ones for things, what are the words children? Yes, a basket of fruit, a bouquet of flowers, a bunch of flowers. We can use bouquet and bunch say, uh, for the flowers. Word flowers yes. yes. A bunch of plantains, a chest of drawers, a clump of trees. 
right clump of trees a group of trees together yes right let us see some more people yes. gang of thieves troop of dancers yes animals a swarm of bees a litter of pups a collection of puppies actually a pride of lions a pack of wolves yes and for other things a collection of stamps a constellation of stars a galaxy of stars a group of islands yes. a set of tools a library of books there are plenty of words we there are plenty of collective nouns we have just taken few of them so why don't you use dictionaries use books and uh, and you can use the internet of course and find more words more collective nouns for people for animal and other things right i think you can do this on your own let us move on to another activity this is also from unit 7 activity 7 complete the following collective nouns so you can you can take your books and we can do at the same time yes let us read by the time we read we hope you will finish uh, yes. you will uh, write the collective now yes a bouquet of a sheaf of a band of a team of a string of three bouquets of sheaves of the bands of yes so you can say a bouquet a team a string three bouquets sheaves a sheaf sheaves the bands yes. right in, in both singular and plural, plural. forms you can, i told you that uh, you yes. can use them in both singular or plural forms right a bouquet of flowers, flowers. yes a sheaf of beetle i think yes, yes. beetle leaves together yeah. you worship elders by offering a sheaf of beetle the band of musicians a team of players a string of yes what can be the word pearls pearls three bouquets of flowers sheaves of beetle the bands of musicians all right it is easy now because you yes. know the words right now let us move on to another activity we have given some collective nouns you have to use them to fill some blanks mm -hmm. a flock of parrots pride of lions a clutch of eggs a basket of fruit a bouquet of flowers a band of musicians a gaggle of geese a pod of whales a herd of elephants a crowd of people a flight of steps gaggle yes. of geese that is the sound of the yeah. gaggle children there uh, let us see uh, how we can use these um, collective nouns during the last school trip my class visited the national zoo in dehiwala my friends enjoy the visit and everyone loved watching the the cubs were actually quite playful there was a in a pond there it was fascinating to see them honking loudly see they are noise yes our teacher took us to the aquarium and there was swimming and doing various tricks in a nearby pool let us right. see whether you can get an idea about yes. the animals and um, their collective noun there yes my friends enjoy the visit during the last school trip my class visited the national zoo in dehiwala my friends enjoy the visit and everyone loved watching the the cubs were actually quite pleased yes. then we know yes. we are talking about uh, pride about of the, lions yes the lions right The cubs were actually quite playful. There was a gaggle of geese in the pond there. It was fascinating to see them honking loudly. Yes. Our teacher took us to the aquarium and there was a swimming of... and doing various tricks yes. in a pool. Then we know it's the dolphin there, yes. a school of dolphins. Next Beauty. we went to see the birds in the aviary in the zoo and we saw with very beautiful plumes of red and green 
it was their feeding time and we saw a worker carrying to feed them. In a nest we saw laid by a colourful bird. So is it all about birds? I think they have gone to the aviary. Yes. Children aviary is the place where birds are kept in the zoo. So uh, when they went to the aviary they saw a flock of parrots with very beautiful plumes of red and green, their feathers. Yes. And it was their feeding time. So we saw a worker carrying a basket of fruit because birds prefer fruits. Um, in a nest we saw it was laid by yes. colourful bird, then a clutch of eggs. Right. We climbed down blank to go to the elephant arena. It was an amazing moment to see blank performing various tricks. On our way back to school, we stopped at a roadside cafe and saw blank entertaining blank there. We noticed that someone had offered them blank at the end of the performance. We all clapped together to show our appreciation as well. Right. So we climbed down a flight of steps to go to the elephant arena where the elephants are performing. Yes. It was an amazing moment to see a herd of elephants performing various tricks. On our way back to school we stopped at a roadside cafe and saw a band of musicians entertaining a crowd of people there. We noticed that someone had offered them a bouquet of flowers at the end of the performance. We all clapped together to show our appreciation as well. Hope you got an idea how to use these collective nouns. We have described the scene in, uh, in the zoo and uh, see how we have used these words. Yes. Now let us move on to another section. Yes, it's about compound nouns. Yes. Let us see what compound nouns are. Yes. Look at these words, time, it's a noun table also there. There are two separate nouns. And we can form the word timetable. As a single word. Yes. News and paper. Newspaper. Alright. And then sewing machine and sewing machine. Type, type writer. Typewriter. Yes. Now ah. see, we used two words and formed one and we call them compound nouns. Look at this word, sea and food and we get seafood. We get seafood. Right. Now children, there are three ways how to form compound nouns. Yes. In some words, we have a space in between the words. For example, ice cream. But when we were small, can yes. you remember there was a hyphen in between yeah, ice cream? I often wrote in that way, yes. I think. Now children with the use of uh, uh, passage of time, yes. these change because now it's very common word. So we use without a hyphen there. Swimming pool, bus stop, living room, cellular phone, lawn mower, apple tree. So you can see there is a space in between the words. And in the second one, there's no space, children. Yes. Classmate, bathroom, downstairs, database, football, textbook, toothbrush. And the third one, you can form compound nouns with hyphens in between the words. Yes. Father-in-law, you can see two hyphens be, uh, among these words, right? Teacher in charge, dry cleaning, self-confidence, Merry go round, laughing gas, part time. Right. If you see two words stuck together with the reading a compound word is what you have to do. The two words work together to mean something new. Here are some compound words for you. Box make mailbox, what could be better than a safe dry place to put Santa's letter? Butter and fly are a beautiful pair. Butterflies are insects fluttering through the air. Hook and 
Right. I don't think I have to explain. You've yes. got a lot of words there, children. So I will quickly explain how to form uh, compound nouns. There are different ways, yes. it seems. Yes. yes. Now here, we can use two nouns and mm. form one compound noun. Look at the example. Ground is a noun. Flow is a noun. And we can form ground flow. Yes. Fire flies. And the word fire flies. Tooth and paste, toothpaste, milk and powder, milk powder. Yes. So nouns, two nouns can be formed into a compound noun. The next one, adjective and a noun. Yes. Full, Full yeah. is an adjective, moon is a noun. So it makes the compound noun full moon. Example, black adjective, board noun, blackboard. Yes. Now, the next one, we can form compound nouns with a verb and a noun. Mm. Washing is a verb and machine is a noun. Washing machine. Scare, verb, crow, noun. Scare, crow. Break, verb, fast, noun. Breakfast. Breakfast is the first meal after fasting for several hours. The next one, noun and a verb. Sun is a noun, rise is a verb, compound noun is sunrise. Hair, cut, hair cut. Yes, hair is noun, cut is verb. Bus and stop. Yes, bus is a noun, stop is a verb. Next one, verb and a preposition. Check is a verb and up is the preposition. Check up. You can see the hyphen there. Take, take off. The next one, preposition and a noun. Yes. On is a preposition. Line is a noun. This is very popular these days. Yes, of course. Online. Yes. Now let us see how we can form the plurals in compound nouns. Now yes. basic rule is children, you have to add S to the end. So if the Compound noun is one word, you can just add S. Rainforest, rainforests. The next one, if there are two words, two or more words, you have to add S to the principal word. Principal is the main word. Now here, bus stop, stop is the main verb, so main word, so S is there. Full moon, 
moon is the principal word, so full moons. Now, in the hyphenated words, again the same uh, rule, you have to add to the principal word. Brother-in-law, the principal word is brother, so it should be brothers-in-law, passers-by, half-truths, their truth is the principal word, so it should be half-truths. And when the compound noun consists of a verb and a preposition, you add to the end. Mm -hmm. Take away, take aways, push up, push ups. Right, this is uh, in your workbook, uh, page 54. You have to form the plurals there. Father in law, fathers in law, sister in law, sisters in law, teacher in charge, teachers in charge, son in law, sons in law. Notary public, there are two notaries public or notary publics. Passer by, passers by, commander in chief, commanders in chief, guest of honor, guests of honor. Right, this is from your workbook, children, unit 7, activity 6. You have to pick compound nouns toothbrush, bathroom, notebook, broomstick, aircraft, eyebrow, classmate, rainfall, cupboard footprint. Let us do this activity quickly children. Find the correct word to form a compound noun. The clues will help you. Day, the time in the morning when light first appears. It's, it's daylight. Home, the school work done out of lessons especially at home. Homework. Horse, the power exerted by horse in pulling. Horse power. A fish having an umbrella shaped body. Jellyfish. Food remaining from a previous meal. Leftovers. A tall structure topped by a powerful light. It is lighthouse. Right. Now here uh, you have to add more words to the, the three types of compound nouns. Closed form. Football, blueberry, eggplant, peppermint, software. Words are together. The second type hyphenated form, six pack, you can see the uh, picture there, yes, eye opener, take off, two thirds, five year old, see two hyphens there, yes, son in law, stick in the mud, a very firm person, mm. teacher in charge, court marshal, open form, there are two words, dinner table, bus stop, Ten issues, fish tank, dry cleaning, public speaking, iced tea. Right. So we have come to the end of the lesson, children. Uh, we have discussed what collective nouns are. We can use different collective nouns there. Um, family, class, pack, there are some examples. Collective nouns usually take the single form, uh, but they sometimes they take the plural form as well. Compound nouns are formed in three ways. It can take as one word and it can come as two separate words or with a hyphen, uh, with a hyphenated word. You can see the examples, ice cream, two separate words, classmate as one and merry-go-round hyphenated words. So dear children, I think you learned a heap of words today, right? You have improved your vocabulary with lot of words today with the help of Miss Nirmala. So, if you want to watch our programs again, you can watch them in the YouTube channel, Channel NIE. So, until we meet again, stay safe, goodbye.